how's it great jobs um i hope you're doing good man um today we're going to focus on our question paper 2016 november it's a past question paper which is going to help you um to be able to to familiarize yourself in answering um your questions um effective answering during examinations and then, and then so our section a um refers to climate weather and geomorphology as you know so question one so we're going to be doing question one for the day um which is under tropical cyclones okay yes so tropical cyclones are always there always present guys during exams and please pay attention okay so 1.1 says refer to figure 1.1 okay mind you are also going to be um using our annexure as you can see okay figure 1.1 which is an uh, tropical cyclone in mature stage of development of a tropical cyclone it's in mature stage as you can see okay so refer to figure 1.1 as i showed you showing a graph of weather conditions in the mature stage of development of a tropical cyclone okay so first of all a thing that must come into your mind is the fact that you know what are the weather conditions um how destructive it, as uh, this specific cyclone is um on its mature stage um and and end okay yes so let's just um jump to our question 1.1.1 okay yes we are going to be answering um using our sheet here okay yes this is our answer sheet okay let's go back okay so 1.1.1 says state the type of precipitation at a okay what's the type of precipitation at a okay here at a what the type of precipitation here okay as you can see here this the area at a is just right straight under the the clouds of a tropical cyclone which are cumulonimbus clouds and you know what is the name of the rain or the kind of precipitation that is experienced during a tropical cyclone okay yes you know it's a it's a cumulum it's a so sorry these are the clouds it's a um, it's it's heavy rainfall or torrential rainfall okay yes or thunder showers and so on okay yes um yes let's go write that down so for our a it's heavy rain the rainfall or you can say um you can say oh it's thunder showers or trench rainfall rainfall okay yes so these are, are all correct okay you can also add thunder showers okay heavy thunder and so on okay yes or then ah, let me just drop that one okay we okay with these two so it's heavy it's very very heavy heavy rainfall okay yes let's go back let's wrap that so that it does not disturb us okay so question 1.1.2 says state where the highest wind speed is recorded in the graph okay as you can see in the graph this is a graph that is showing us um the wind speed okay meaning that here there is high wind speed as you're moving away from the eye the wind speed is becoming lower okay yes the wind speed is becoming lower as you're moving apart from the eye okay yes so the question says state where the highest wind speed is recorded in the graph the highest meaning that the highest wind speed in this graph is recorded where area around the eye meaning that the area that is around or close to the eye is experiencing very very high wind speed okay 
or area around B, you can say that because B is I. Okay, yes, let's go and write our answer down. Okay, yes, so it's area around around the eye okay it's area around the eye or you can say area around b okay area around b okay let's move to 1.1.3 without wasting no time okay yes let's rub that again so that we don't get disturbed okay um okay so 1.1.3 says um name the main cloud type that surrounds b so what's the name of the but i told you guys name of the clouds um that are being developed by this tropical cyclone okay it's in macho stage mind you so the name of the clouds name of the clouds that surrounds at b are Cumulonimbus clouds, okay, the very big clouds that gives us heavy rainfall, that gives us torrential rainfall, that gives us um, very very heavy showers. Okay, so let's go right down. It's Cumulonimbus clouds, okay. Yes, so 1.1.4. Let's go okay so 1.1.4 says give the term that described the air movement towards b let's go to b yes you know the air movement at b as i told you during our lesson if you still remember i said that at b in the eye there are no clouds there's calm weather and so on meaning that there is as you know that our clouds are uh, um i can say are releasing yes the, the heat that is called the latent heat so the latent heat when it goes down it goes in sideways or downwards the eye through the eye downwards and as it goes down it hits up identical yes so um so the air movement at b is subsidence okay or convergence you can see okay yes convergence or subsidence or sinking and so on okay let's go write the answer okay so it's convergence convergence it's convergence subsidence or singing that's air movement singing air and so on okay one point one point five okay yes um point one point five says okay just before we get to one point one point five let's do like this so sorry okay so 1.1.5 says give the reason for the air movement at b so the air movement in the eye give the reasons i told you that the air movement is the eye is going where it's sinking or subsiding air okay that hits a particle um yes so um which is released by 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 these clouds by these cumulus clouds and so on okay so the air movement towards um, that zone of low pressure. Okay, so so that's a that, that, that's a very first um, I can say a very first reason, as it says, give a reason for the air movement at P. Yes. So also there's upper air diverge results in subsidence, as you can see that. Okay. So um. Okay, let's go back. Okay so here in the eye there are clouds here okay these are very big clouds okay these are cumulus clouds okay let's just draw them okay these are the cumulus clouds 
very very big clouds okay so there is um there is divergence here of a the latent heat that is being released from the upper atmosphere downwards okay yes so the upper air diverge results in subsidence that's why there is subsiding air in the eye so the latent heat goes down the eye okay okay go down the eye that air okay there's also other latent heat that is going that way okay also other latent heat that is going that is leaving these clouds so that they can go through the process of con of, of condensation okay yes so in the eye as you can see there is subsiding air okay yes so that's how it goes um so for our answers we can say for our answers we can say air movement okay i can say um air moves towards a zone of low pressure okay that's number one um the second one we can say for a second one we can say upper air diverges upper air divergence results in subsidence so also the upper air divergence results in, in subsidence because that latin heat or that air that is being released in those clouds so that they can go through condensation process that air is now going down again causing more and more rising of air okay yes so let's go to 1.1.6 okay i guess you you did understood our answers for 1.1.5 okay yes um okay let's wrap that so that we don't get confused okay okay um 1.1.6 says in which area does the tropical cyclone experience the lowest pressure okay yes in which area does the tropical cyclone express so this question says which area there okay let's go which area here the eye um areas that are far away from the eye and so on which area that is experiences a low pressure okay i guess you know because in our in our lesson i did emphasize that okay yes so for our answers it's here in the eye okay eye is the one that is experiencing low pressure okay there is calm weather there there's low pressure um no wind and so on okay yes there's low pressure at b okay you can say b or i let's go write our answers you can say at b okay or you can say in the eye okay um or you can say so sorry or you can say um center of the tropical cyclone because i is in the center of the tropical cyclone center of the tropical cyclone but the most relevant answer it's the eye guys okay as you know okay center of the tropical cyclone so 1.1.7 so 1.1.7 says is asking us okay so it says why does air descends in area b why does air descends in area b why the air goes down the eye as i showed you before 
simple questions okay why the a descends here why why that's the that's the that's the question which is mostly similar to 1.1.5 okay because i think i'm going to also give you the very similar answer to 1.1.5 okay so the answer here is that the upper air diverge, divergence or the air that is diverging in the upper atmosphere is 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 then um forced to 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 subside okay yes or the cool air is heavy and so on so the intense of low pressure causes air to be sucked in and subside we can also say that okay yes so yes so those are the reasons let's go right answer so that you can get some marks so i said the upper the upper air divergence causes air to subside so as you know that there's in the in, in the upper clouds okay in the upper atmosphere during this critical cycle there's air that is diverging or leaving these clouds okay so this air is obliged to go down because it's heavy and so on okay okay or you can also say that the cool air is heavy okay other thing that you can say you can say intense low pressure causes air as you know that in the eye there's low pressure so that low pressure or that intense of low pressure causes the air to be sucked in and, sus and subside there's a space there for air to go down okay to be sucked and subside these are the answers that you can can give anyone guys okay this is th this question was out of seven marks okay this seven marks is very very important for you guys okay yes so these are the relevant answers um on our question okay um yes so that's the end of our revision for the day guys okay yes for a moment by the way yes so um please if you haven't subscribed please don't forget to subscribe 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 so that um the community grows students um receive some knowledge and so on so please subscribe subscribe click that red subscribe button please click it guys please click it just press that subscribe button thank you so much um see you in the next following revision question okay um see you in the next time cheers